how are we going to get there? How are we going to make people really engage with the concept of solar and understand the importance of moving to renewable energy? Well, I think the economics. Uh, so if we take this product, Solar Zero, um, you know, the bank provides the money for the lease that puts the solar on people's roofs. They pay a subscription, but the savings they make out of their power bill basically pays for that subscription, and they lock in the price of, of anti-inflation for the rest of the, of the 20 years. So the price then never goes up, apart from anything they might bring in on the grid. So usually consumers, in my experience over a long time, vote with their pockets. Ideally, if you're first, you get the first mover advantage. You're saying, look, we, we are totally renewable. You know, that's going to be a great statement. Statements around your carbon footprint are going to be becoming more and more important. So anything that improves your credentials you know, on, on, the, on the stage and as a, as a corporate citizen are going to help the value of your brand. Mark Carney kind of kicked it off in 2015 uh, to a large extent when he actually highlighted to the world that climate risk is financial risk and that's the way people need to start thinking about it. Um, and so from a bank's perspective, what does a bank do? Well, a bank helps uh, individuals, companies, and actually the economy manage financial risk. Having a, a, having a, a platform that allows us to have many of these batteries out there, having a partner like Solar City that actually centrally actually owns and runs and operates these batteries um, is a perfect combination. And then the last part of the puzzle is, is obviously the development around what user interface, what does the consumer actually get out of it, what's the app that we've developed, how do they actually see the benefits uh, of what they've done and how they've partnered up with Solar City and, de and developed uh, or delivering you know, benefits. You only need to put solar on a small island <laughs> equivalent really mm. across the country to get to a place where the nation has enough power to get to 100% renewable. Financing, as Karen said, is key because it allows you to, to, to deliver that sunshine as a service to New Zealanders. So no one's left out. The key thing we need to do is do something, you know, um, just make a start. Look, sometimes my son comes home and kind of looks at what we've got in the, in the rubbish bin or what food we've got in the fridge that's potentially going to go waste and looks at my car that's not yet electric and, uh, and gives me a pretty stern lecture. Um, and sometimes that is quite an overwhelming lecture, but the, the, what we can do is make a start and start ticking them off. And thanks to Solar City and Panasonic, um, this is a bloody great start for a lot of New Zealand homes and a lot of, a lot of New Zealand businesses. So you can't kind of take them all on in day one, but you can certainly take a few on. And, uh, and get into it and, and you know just by the look of these battery units alone um, it looks like a pretty stunning addition to most households so uh, you know I'll, I'll be in there first for sure. As somebody who's been involved in a lot of environmental causes over the years is supporting them um, is it exciting for you that we do have this new generation that are going to demand and expect this change? Yeah very exciting. Do you think that it needs to be led though from the front from people like yourself and the people on the panel that are in these leadership positions? Yeah, I, I would hate to um, sort of write a deathbed note to my grandchildren saying we were the generation that actually screwed things for the next one and two. And at the moment, uh, we are. So it's incumbent on us to lead. The kids will, as Jeff said, they'll follow, but we've got to do more right now.